Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another short tutorial in Maya 2015. And the topic of today is the multi-cut tool. That tool can be found in the, uh, the 2015 modeling toolkit. And that toolkit can be found up in the right corner. And that's under your first icon here. So if I click on that, it opens the modeling toolkit. And it looks something like this. We're going to hit multi-component. So what we're going to address is vertices, edges, and faces. That's kind of the deal of that. And to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to simply create a polygon cube. So I could, for example, hit my space bar and go to create polygon primitives cube and just drag that out. I could also go up to create polygons cube. Okay. So now that we have this cube, we're going to start off by simply activating the multi-cut tool. And we do that by scrolling down. And then you've got these uh, mesh editing tools. And the one we're going to use is this button up to the right here, multi-cut. And we're going to select that. Now, without any further um, uh, extensions or additions or anything like that, we're just going to start with what we have right here. And we're going to move towards our object and make sure we're in object mode. There we go. And we're simply going to click on the corner here. Hang on. I just lost them. There we go. Okay. So this guy's clicked. I'm going to hover over my corner and it's selecting this vertex, as you can see. And I'm simply just going to start to click from there. And as you can see, I'm creating free form lines or edges if you will and I'm just going to click around until I get to let's say here at the end and I'm not committed to this until I hit the enter key so when I hit enter it's going to create that shape and as you can see it's only on one side now if I now hit the Q key to deactivate that I can hover over that area that I created, click on it, as in a face, and hit delete on my keyboard, which kind of allows me to cut out a freeform shape in an object, which is pretty neat. All right. Now, let's go back a few steps and start fresh. So what else can we do with that tool? We're going to reactivate it again. Click on it. And now, if you hover over your object, and you hold down your control key and left click, you see that you can move edges around and add them by clicking. So I'm just going to click here, click here, and I'm simply adding edge loops to my object and hit Q on my keyboard. And as you can see, they are all around. All right. Now, that's pretty neat. Problem is, though, that it's sometimes a bit difficult to get the spacing correctly because you want them to be symmetrical at the same spacing and so forth. So we're just going to hit Control z a few times to go back. So what you can do there is you can actually hold down your Control and your Shift key at the same time and then left click. And now, activate my multi-cut tool. And now, by holding down Shift, and control it's snapping to certain points so if I click here there you see that it's snapping right now where is that distance coming from that distance is coming from we'll go up uh, to where we have that setting uh, sorry down the snap steps are set to 25% here now if I adjust that to 10% and I'll just go back Let me Q to my starting point. Make sure I got my multi-cut selected and I'm still at 10%. There we go. I'm going to hold down my control and my shift key and left click. And right now you can see that when I move this along, it's jumping in steps of 10% of the width. And by clicking, actually create the edge and so forth all right cool 
So what else can we do with the multi-cut tool? Um, one thing that I personally think is pretty neat when you select your multi-cut tool and you scroll down, you have the option delete faces and extract faces. Now we're going to start off by the delete faces option. We're going to select that. And now when I click my mouse, my left mouse button, and I pull down, I can create a line crossing my object. And you can see that there is a dotted line pointing to the right. And what this does, and I'll show you, when I release, it just slices off a piece of my object, like in this example. All right. I'll hit Control Z to undo that. We'll do that once again, right there. And it just slices it off. Now, it's important to remember that when you hold your line, the area where the dotted line is pointing towards is the area that will be sliced off. Okay, so if I do this, it will take off that section. All right. Okay, so that is our, uh, let me think, delete faces option. Now let's uncheck that and check the extract faces option. Works fairly similar, but with a little different effect. I'm going to click and drag and again I have my dotted line but in this case when I release it slices the object and move the sliced piece up a little bit so if I do that again and do that again it kind of takes pieces of my object slice it and move it upwards and you can use this for all types of very cool features okay you can uh, fill up these holes, you can use it to create complex objects and so forth. All right. And there we go. OK, so I think that is the uh, most important section of the multi cut tool. And I will do additional videos on the bevel and bridge and extrude. So uh, see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for watching. Bye.